Deepest thanks for deeming me undateable. It's good to know where I stand. When you thought, how could we sexualize, fetishize, infantilize, and patronize all in just 60 minutes? My life seemed like a soft place to land. It's good to know your Johnson's baby smooth hand gets to choose the faces that have fallen out of fashion to sew an odd sock from my innards and pair me up with someone else who is torn at the toes. It's good to know that once done you will sleep smug, snuggled under duvet knowing you've done your job. That you think the biggest struggle for those who don't fit the norms that the able-bodied chose is we can't get a date. Not that most aren't getting paid, can't go for a wee on a train, or are sick of hearing sorry that appointment's got a three month wait. It's good to know you think mine could be the face that launched a thousand Twitter debates. That the home of the Paralympics is trying to claw some dignity back, and that works on some days. But you won't celebrate my skin unless it is scarved in a Union Jack. Body bundled in front page glory as a fish supper. It's good to know if I don't fit in one box, you will shove me in the other. You'll brand me an over or underachiever. Hand me a voice thick with life's knocks and a bottle of sunblock bought as a prop. Demand I rise to the top or crawl through my years so you can clap through your tears if I manage either. It's good to know you got a nod from the BAFTAs. That you think you're doing a good thing by redefining the rules of love. And as proof, you can show me scripts you've written to so many happily ever afters. It's good to know you'd like to lend a hand so that mine might be held. That you took one look and decided I looked like I needed your help. Thank you, and thank you to Jack. Thank you.